going to use Java to create a class. Basically, we're going to get we're going to get an introduction to classes. So let's start with a uh, class. I'm going to call this Enterprise, and this is going to be my Starship Enterprise class. It's a little geeky, I understand, but well, hopefully you'll see the point. So um, I start my class with a public class interface. Um, my next line begins my my main function and my interface is going to be public static void main string args and it's probably it, it, it maybe it's going to be a little bit unclear what exactly public static void main means etc um, for now just take it as a given that this is how we start a class and I am going to have a another class. I'm going to call this a person class. So essentially, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have this Starship Enterprise class, and I'm going to populate it with a crew. And so um, I may have a captain, a first officer, a doctor, etc. So here's my person class. And let's see, the people on board the the uh, the crew members are going to have a, a, a name. So we're going to have a string for their name, a string for their rank, or let's say not rank but role. Uh, and maybe I'll give them. Uh, maybe I want to know how old they are. That's going to be an integer. That's going to be their age. And should I do anything else? Uh, that's fine for now to get us started. And so then I create a constructor. So my constructor is uh, whatever I instantiate a new uh, um, object, I am going to, a new person that is, I'm going to supply their name and their role. And maybe I'll set their um, their age later on. So this dot name equals name. So that means that when I instantiate a new person object, the name that's supplied is going to go here. And I'm going to take that name and assign to it the value uh, is going to be assigned to this name. And this name, of course, is the name up here. And this role will equal role. So the, uh, the the name and the role that I pass to my person constructor, oh maybe I should give a comment here too. The name and the role that I pass to the constructor are only going to be defined within this code block. It's the this name and this role, in other words these guys out here, that are going to be defined throughout the entire class. Oh, and before I get too far into I should close my my code block for my class. So there I have a constructor and let's see, I uh, maybe I'll want to change the role, maybe somebody will get promoted or change jobs. So I'm going to create a void method. This is a method that's not going to return anything. String role and as the name of the method indicates it's going to be used to change the value of role so this isn't the constructor um, or this is not like the constructor which just gets called once I can call the change role method whenever I want whenever the role this person's role gets changed and maybe I may want to set the age. That's also going to be a void method. Set age. And that's going to take an integer age. And so this age is going to be set to whatever the value of age is here. And I will have a, uh, a method which returns an integer. 
get age. And the reason it's returning an integer is because, well, age is an integer. And when I want to know the person's age, this is the method that I'll call. So, return age. We'll return this age. And let's see, so what do I have now? Um, name, role, age, a constructor, change the role, set the age, get the age. Oh, well, how about um, a method to get the role? And a method which will get the person's name. Okay, so I think that's it. Um, now would be a good time to compile this actually. Let's see what it looks like. Okay, nothing happens. It's because I haven't actually done anything up here yet. So let me now instantiate a person, instantiate a crew member. Now let's instantiate the captain. So I say, person captain equals new person and so I have to supply a name because remember my constructor expects a name and my constructor expects uh, expects a role so the name is Kirk the role is captain and let me create another person um, this person will be physician new person, oops, supposed to be a lowercase n. Uh, bones. And the role will be ships doctor. All right, here we go. It, we compile with Java C, uh, works very nice, okay. So let's uh, let's set the captain's age. So we say set. Oop, I'm sorry. Say captain set age to let's say his age is. <clears throat> say his age is 40. <clears throat> and we will set the physician age to let's say 39. And now let's do the following. System dot out dot print line captain's name is captain get name and We'll say captain's age captain age. So remember what I'm doing here is I am writing out the the this this text here, just captain's name, captain's age, and then I'm using the methods that I created. Captain is the name of my um my object, and the get name method is a, 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 a method of that class, the person class. So, recall my my get name and, and, and get age uh, methods. Oh, and one other one too. Let's get the captain's role. And then when we're done with this, let's also do the physician. Oh, I've actually forgotten my semicolons, haven't I?
Okay. I run Java C on my enterprise.java class to, to compile this. And now to run it, I say Java Enterprise. And here we go. Um, I have my two persons objects, captain and physician. Uh, I've set their name, their role, uh, their age, name, role, age. That all worked out very well. I do need the space now between uh, my name and the 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 the, the string and, and, and then the variable return. In other words, name, Kirk, role, captain, age 40, etc. So I can do that. Well, that's easy enough. Here we go. So again, in a nutshell, what I've done is I've created uh, two classes here. Here I have a public class, my enterprise class, and then a person class. And I use the person class, which is essentially just a complicated variable type, at least for this purpose, where I can set, uh, where I instantiate a person, whether it's captain or physician, and then I set the characteristics of the of the person using the setters that methods that I wrote. And then I get those characteristics. I can retrieve them using these getter methods, which I also wrote. And again, let's take one more look at our person class. Um, here's some member data. Here's our constructor. And then these are some methods to to set some characteristics or get some characteristics. And that's about it. So I hope this was helpful.